What are we doing today, Rob? Making fucking wine. Damn right, we're making wine, bitches. Here, I guess I'll finish this since the camera's rolling so they can watch me wiggle the jug around. Clean your shit. Clean your shit before you start. So that way nothing is uh, contaminated with ugliness. Knowing you fucks, you should probably fucking shower because the stank will rot in the shit. Disgusting people. Alright, Rob, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so uh, you yeah. can, uh, whatever. Get yourself a carboy. Yeah, do that. Get yourself a fucking bubbler. Welches. If you want to do it the cheap way. Get yourself some fucking toilet wine. Good <laughs> taste some toilet wine. Get yourself some fucking yeast. You're going to want to heat this up, water, up to 110 degrees. Put in your teaspoons of yeast. Activate them before it happens. You're going to want bentonite. Put the bentonite inside your carboy. It's going to make your wine a lot more clear, a lot more attractive to the people that have high standards. Fucking useless rich bitches, you know? Rich bitches. Rich bitches. Rich bitches. You're going to want cane sugar. This is what the yeast is going to eat. Eat, yeast is gonna eat this and shit out alcohol. This is the best. That's the best ever. animal ever, dude. Right? Yeah. Bacteria. Ye what the yeast fuck is fucking. It's an animal. animal. And when you're done, put in cannabis tablets. Clean that motherfucker out so your next batch is just as good and tasty and cheap as the last batch. And don't forget, I'm cheap like your whore mom. Lots and lots and lots of drinking. While you make wine, you lots drink. Of, lots of drinking. That's not even the gayest thing we've ever done. No, nope. not even close. Not even close. All right, we'll catch you guys up in a minute. You want to heat up and boil your water to 110 degrees. That is the best to activate your yeast. Put two teaspoons of yeast in there. Don't get it over 115 degrees. Once it drops down past that, put two teaspoons of your yeast in there. And stir it around gently. That will activate your yeast, and then you just drop it in your shit. Drop it in your shit. In the shit. Some people say that two and a half cups of sugar is all you need. But if you like your stuff a little sweeter, like I do, go with three and a half or three. The more sugar, the more alcohol. And the sweeter it tastes. It's going to be sweeter than Aaron Kirk's asshole right after he gets out of the bathtub. No, that's still pretty fucking nasty. It's like an Amazon in there. <coughs> it's just jungle and ropes. And little kids trying to climb up. And little gerbils. Little legs, little tails sticking out there like spaghetti. Ever seen a snake eat a mouse backwards? That little snake tail. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself. So add the sugar, because we're so sweet. Well, my first time handling a cock funnel. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking quality funnel. Well, that's two. How much do you want to put in? Three, three and a half, what do you want to do? I don't care, you're the man with the plan. Three. Yeah. Just dumping the whole fucking thing. Let me fucking put your head. We're pretty close, aren't we? We're getting there. <laughs> Two, one and a half. Three and a half. Alright, let me get a piece of paper so we can write down this recipe too. So I like trying different recipes. I can't hear you, Rob. Oh, look at Rob, isn't he fucking cute? <laughs> what a piece of shit. You know what? I was uh, going through my paper supply the other day, and the kids went and scratched everything and went, fuck alone. Anyway, and I was going through this paper, and I handed them some sheets, and they say, you know, they came back and they're like, this has a bunch of words on it and some of them are naughty. I went and grabbed it <laughs> and it was our script to uh, Door to Door Priest. 
<laughs> oh, fuck, you can't have that. <laughs> Give that shit back. <laughs> yeah. That goes in the vault. <laughs> The vault of dreams. The fucking fall. The beginning of it all, man. When we look back on that shit. Yeah, when we're old and senile and wondering how the fuck we wasted so much goddamn time on stupid shit. <clears throat> yeah, but the good news is that we can just look back and watch all those things. And watch us when we're young. And see all the fun that we had. And all the creativity that we mustered out. And all the effort that we put into every little thing that we did. Like making wine. Making wine, making stupid films, having fun, enjoying fucking life. The only time I don't worry about life and bills is when I'm making wine, writing, and filming stupid shit with my friends. Sucking dick. Oh my god, when I'm just fucking, just choking on one, you know? And make fun of Robert Shadwell. Yeah, Shadwell <laughs> with three L's and one D. I don't even know Not anybody that we know. I just want to be a part of the video, like, <laughs> fuck it, whatever. <laughs> All right, we got our. And make, by the way, guys, making macaroni and cheese while you do this isn't part of the process, but it does help. It's not part of the process, but it does identify you as a honky, white trash motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we do have ramen noodles too. So. The reason why we're eating macaroni and cheese is because I got a raise of three cents. Otherwise, we'd be eating ramen. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, America! Thanks, America! Maybe I should just keep my fucking ass home and not do a goddamn thing in these food stamps. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, back on topic. Yeah. <laughs> that is that shit. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. Cheers oh. for beers. Cheers for beers. Ooh. Oh, we're doing the gay thing again? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. I don't really think that. I don't know why that's gay. I don't think that's gay. I mean, I think it takes a lot of talent. I think those. You're going to sneak your arm. I kind of like that, yeah. It's definitely heterosexual, that's for sure. Is hetero mean you buttfuck or no? Can you buttfuck regardless? If you don't think it's true, it didn't happen. No. That's true. I guess someone prayed about it, and I guess it's not bad, so. <laughs> Where are we at temperature-wise? What do we got? Uh, well, I got 119. 119. Still too hot for the little east bitches. <laughs> what? What we can do is give you motherfuckers a little sneak peek of what's going on. Well, even though we're sitting here and doing all of our magic wedding-like snake gay arms, sadly Kirk and I are getting a divorce. And, uh... Really rough? Your acting skills really suck when you're not drunk. God, I know, I'm so sober. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> The next clip is uh, our gay divorce, and uh, he over penetrates. Over penetration, and really, I just that's want really a, a thing. Yeah, I just want a black guy. When you hit their cervix, yeah, that's where it's called, right? Yeah, yeah. seriously, yeah. I just want like a. I want Dennis Rodman, an NBA player. I wanna, I wanna lay on the beach naked, put my legs in the air, and spread my asshole, and just sound like a beer can, you know, just say, <laughs> want my asshole to sound like a tugboat when I'm running. You know, that's just what I dream of. Yeah, he gobbles it up. Absolutely. I just dream of not being, being uh, you know, have uh, anal seepage in my underwear anymore. You know, I don't mind diapers. You know, sometimes you ain't got time to shit. And that's all right. Let's keep on keeping on. Yeah, what this guy said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's the next step? Besides when you take these fucking bullshit. Uh, next is we can pour out. Well, we can pour you. Get that can, out of there. Yep, yeah, put a little bit of bentonite in there. Let's do a, a good teaspoon of bentonite. Bentonite is going to help you with your clarity. It's going to make your wine a lot better. like alcohol clear. does for us. Yeah, <laughs> it makes things a lot better. <laughs> Uh, it's going to help you with your clarity. That way, 
That way, when these yuppie motherfuckers come to your house and you try to give them a bottle of your uh, cheap, hooch, hooch cheap hooch <laughs> basement wine, and they see all the sludge and the mud at the bottom, they're not going to appreciate it. <laughs> yuppie bitches get pissed. So this will help fool them. High quality shit is what Dirty Robin Mountain Boys hooch is. Or at least, what are, hey, what, are, what was the name that I ended up calling her hooch anyways? I um, think I think that started as Dirty Rob's like. Hooch well, or yeah, it was Walling a Hooch. Oh yeah, Walling yeah. a Hooch. Yep. And that's yeah. when I came up with the logo of Dirty yeah. Rob and Boys. Yeah, that was the original logo. And yeah, then, so this all started with alcohol, guys. Everything. Go does. fucking figure. Right? Everything does. <laughs> Everything starts with alcohol. <laughs> Everything fucking worth this shit started with alcohol. <laughs> oh man, good times. We should get some labels printed out and put on the car boys. That'd be red. Walling a Hooch. I, I call mine Kirkland Hooch so I can get a lawsuit from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Costco. Yeah. You gotta pay to be a member. It's just like porn websites, man. I'm not gonna pay to be a member when I can get it for free. Hey, if you had to pick and choose between Sam's and Costco, Costco 24-7. 365 every day, all day. Every day. 366 ain't gonna leave here. Mm. I'm not drunk enough, dude. My jokes suck right now. Oh, that was a pretty solid joke. I can't get this bag open. That's how fucking pathetic I am. Yeah, he's, you don't have any fucking fingernails. You fucking I don't. Chewer. I just cut them. No, I don't chew them. Chewing is gross. Holy shit, shit, dude. Never mind. Yeah, it's right? Like Soviet fucking technology, dude. Yep. The Germans got a hold of that bitch. Holy fuck. What the fuck, dude? Hey, vacuum. Oh, this has cut it past the vacuum seal. That's what they did. The vacuum seal that shield like 3,000 fucking times. So is this bent tonight actually like edible? Because if they have to triple fucking vacuum seal that shit, I'm pretty sure it's like nuclear. Uh, it says that it's not gonna harm you. Only thing you can do by adding more of it is... You know, I'm worried about bentonite, but I'm not worried about the alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Is this bentonite fine? Ah, it's cool. Alcohol will kill it. So you said a teaspoon of that? Nah, uh, we're gonna go with a tablespoon, because that's what I just wrote. Um, it says uh, we'll teaspoon, teaspoon TSP because tablespoon would have been way too much. Yeah. And we probably would have one done teaspoon that. and one and a third cup of warm water. If you guys are watching this shit, don't listen to this guy's recipe because he'll probably fucking die. I haven't died yet. He hasn't died, so never mind. Listen to everything he's got. I might have died. I just haven't fucking fallen over yet. Yeah, that's fine. One fourth tablespoon. That's what TSP means today. We're gonna do a fourth of it because. We don't want to kill anybody. We do. It's been four <laughs> teaspoons being for five gallons, so that's why we're going with the littler. Yep. Because I'm an alcoholic, but I'm not that big of an alcohol. Because I will probably have to drink the five gallons all month. We got standards. Stitch and I don't. Oh, I'm not sure. I just want to pay for medical bills. Two teaspoons of the yeast. We got to pour that shit in the hot water or what? Yep. All right, what we're going to do is open up this yeast here. And we're gonna do a couple teaspoons of that, two teaspoons. Not that fucker. <clears throat> we're gonna edit the shit out of this. Alright, this is a half a teaspoon. No, we're not editing anything. <laughs> it's a stupid fucking video, so we're just gonna post it and whoever wants to watch it can watch it. Alright, that's a half a teaspoon. And he's pouring that into 115, oh, I'm sorry, 110 degree water cup yep. that you can see behind the carboy. That thing right there. <laughs> you guys see it? Good, because that's as far as I can go. <clears throat> and I like a lot of yeast. That way more of the yeast, more alcohol. Yeah. Why the fuck not? I've only had one time where it boiled over. And we both live. Yeah. Alright, all you want to do is just take a spoon. Mix that badass up.
Looks just like the just cream. The lunch that Kirk makes for me, handmade, every morning, and puts on my jelly, puts on my toast. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm really glad that I'm on that bottle this year. I'm the one making you fucking do all the work. That's all right. <laughs> I fucking enjoy this. Smile. You oh. got well cheers. Copyright infringement. <clears throat> Sorry, I took away the boy funnel, or the dick funnel, the little boy dick funnel. I actually can't find my funnel, but now that I'm watching this happen, it's like a fucking waterfall, dude. Fuck that. It's the fucking majestic. Oh yeah. That's pretty badass, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Take some talent right there. If I can do this, you know I'm too damn sober. Yeah. Mrs. Welch's. Uh, we stopped by Taylor's Pantry. Hopefully, we use that name. Um, we stopped by Taylor's Pantry. It's forty-four dollars a gallon for grape juice. That was five bucks. <laughs> this was five bucks. So now you know why we're here doing this this way. You have right. to fill it up to a specific spot, otherwise the yeast will blow up and splooge over Rob's floor in the basement. <clears throat> It's not a bad idea if you got a five gallon bucket to put your cardboard inside that bucket, especially when you first start the yeast because I've woken up to a sticky sweet mess. And Other than him jerking it. Other than the first time I ever watched the, the Summer Olympics. Now do you want to put all that in there or? Yep. Screw it? All right. Yep. And then, ironically enough, these caps for the Welch's fit right on top there. But we got a butt plug. It's actually called a bunghole. Bung hole. <laughs> and we'll put this fucker on. I from my bung hole. And bung hole. Cover the cork. You see that beautifulness? Alright, so that's pretty much it. Filled. And I don't know what the hell Bob's doing. I'm hitting my fucking tripod. I'm straining the macaroni and cheese. Oh, we <laughs> macaroni and cheese. When you have ADD, you multitasking. You can't just do Multi ma fucking tasking. Look at that shit, dude. He's straining that shit. I don't even do that. I mix the shells and the regular macaroni and cheese together because I think he's the, rich. That's why. Yeah, I think the shells hold the cheese better. Yeah, and that little goop fucking bowl of jism. So it's almost like biting into a shell and just having that jizz cheese shooting in the back of the throat. Mm, that surprise <clears throat> squirt. Just give me a little He is definitely head. a squirter. Woo! Fun fact. <laughs> Boom, dump that cheese, dude. Fuck right. yeah. If you want to pour that oh, into there. Yeah, <laughs> like my stupid ass can fucking do it, man. Dude, this looks like oatmeal water. I wish it was oatmeal water. Oatmeal jizz water. What? The two different there's cheese in their different colors. Yeah, one's for shells and one's for fucking not shells. So you're saying it's not the shells that give it that amazing flavor. It's that different kind of oh, cheese. Oh look, we're doing something. This is awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. So now what do I do? All you gotta do now put is the bung hole. stir it gently. Put the bung hole back on, put your finger in the hole, uh, and stir it gently. My girlfriend knows that I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so could I just like shake it? Yeah, just put it on there and put shake the it up. Hole. Just not, not much though, because it will explode. I would just... That's as far as the bung hole's gonna go. I would just take it and just kinda Tip it over, get the yeast exposed to the mixture. And then, what you gotta do is take your bubbler. Bubbler. It's got a max line. You fill it up. Almost perfect. 
This is really fun watching you get that fucking Tumblr shit. No, I did really good on in the science on my GET test. There you go. Perfect. All right. Plug the button hole. Plug the button. Put your cap on. In a little bit, it will start eating that sugar, and it will put the oxygen up through here, and it will start bungling along. Good. <clears throat> so this is Kirkland Hooch. <laughs> Trademark pending. I was going to call Costco and ask him if that is a good name to have for it. So This is Kirkland Hooch, the main distributor of Wallinga Hooch in the Kirkwall landmark of establishments. You can tell he's getting drunk. Yeah, dude, that's fucking Scotch Ale's pretty good. <laughs> Kill lifter. We're Scottish as fuck. I don't know about him. He looks kind of, um, I don't know, you Swedish because he's petite and a little girl. So, uh, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Nope. Product placement. Drink that. Yeah, drink that. How about you? Oh, me drink it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't get to drink it. <laughs> Fuck you! I gotta drink it too, because my kilt lifter's almost gone. Perfect fucking time on that one, dude. Now my first day at the rodeo. First day at the rodeo. So first I had a tart beer, and then I had fucking scotch ale, now I'm having fucking oatmeal stout? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Until we make our own beers, we'll be drinking shit like this. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, that's my beer. And like this. That's your beer. The original since 1996. So it's a Scottish tradition since 1996. Oh, it's a fucking Scottish tradition. All my Scottish knowledge comes from Willie the Groundskeeper from The Simpsons. I don't really have anything else. Oh. Yeah. Wasn't That's the first? last time you whack your Willie. <laughs> 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 That's all I know about Scottish people. All right. Yeah, well, until this that is... That bumble keeps on rising, by the way. Until so. this is bubbling. Cheers. Are we done filming? Yes? Just fucking stop, dude. I wanna fucking suck your dick. Take your pants off. So where are we at, Rob? Wallinga. Well, everything is set. Everything is starting to get off balance. The yeast is starting to eat the alcohol. You can see right through here. All the bubbles are starting to go through. If you look deeply enough with a flashlight, you can actually see the yeast starting to attack the sugar and shit out some alcohol. So, I'd say by the morning, this thing will be definitely be going. By the way, buy a fucking corn cob pipe and some tobacco. It's cheap as fuck. Cheap tobacco, cheap fucking wine. So have a fun life. Let's spend money on beer, because beer is delicious. Spend money on the good shit. Yeah. So how long do you have to wait for that to ferment before you can drink it? I would say two weeks. Two weeks. Now how do you filter it up? Depending on the kind of yeast that you use, if you're going to use the kind of yeast that we use, the RC212, is it's going to take a little bit longer. It's gonna really, really, really ferment it. And the best thing you can do is actually, when it's done, bottle it up in some empty ass wine bottles, everybody's got them. Put them in a dark spot. Let them sit for a month or two. Let them really resonate. Let them really hit that peak and just be absolutely delicious. And then drink it up. My problem is I make a batch, and by the time it gets cold, I gotta drink it. I got to. It's my baby. I gotta make it. So hopefully, Kirk and I are gonna make enough batches where we'll have so much fucking wine that we'll actually hide it from ourselves once we're drunk and dig it up later when we're drunk and try it and enjoy the fuck out of it. It'll be phenomenal! -na 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 -na. We've been drinking for a while. So, I apologize. 
Do what you love and love what you do. This is your only life. If you don't enjoy this one, you're gonna be a miserable old fuck. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Damn Cheers, right. Eric. <laughs> and drink oatmeal stout, poet. Yeah, oatmeal stout. Show the label. Uh, this was a shitty presentation, but I dared to rob the Mountain Boys. You probably don't even know how to make wine after this video because we didn't explain shit very well. And guess what? YouTube has a lot more, be like, a lot better fucking videos than us, but uh, none of them do it naked like we do. So there's that. <laughs> and there's this. And ramen. <laughs> For no fucking reason. For no fucking reason. Give me that corn cob. Is it still lit? It's it's steeping. Good enough for the good enough for the video, Rob. Amsterdam. It's even better. Enjoy life. Enjoy what you do. It's the only one that you got. If you don't have crazy, weird, wild fucking friends like that guy right there. Pulling on a corn cob pipe next to a bottle of fucking homemade hooch. hooch. You, ain't, you ain't doing it right. Nope. Uh, to you too.